now, yeah, now is time for the NDF Awards. And I'm going to hand over to the chair of the NDF Board, Phil Edgar, um, because he knows what's happening. <laughs> I vaguely know what's happening, as usual. Um, yeah, one, one of the best things about the, being the uh, chair of the NDF Board is to present the India Awards for uh, 2017. And our first award is for the Social Media Innovation Award. And the winner is, I have to look at the slides because I don't know. There it is, the Invercargill City Libraries and Archives <laughs> for keeping up librarians. <laughs> Enough said. Um, is there anyone from Invercargill City Libraries here? Yeah. <laughs> Fiona's just uh, getting your stuff here. Hey, thank you very much. Well done. Anything you'd like to say briefly? Um, just a massive shout out to the team as well. It's their award. Um, shout out to Kayla, our amazing photographer, um, Jay, Andrew, Chris, and our amazing team leader, Bonnie. Um, and just keep following us and keep posted and we're going to have some more zany and crazy things in store for you guys. <laughs> Cheers. Thank you very much. Hey, thank you. Appreciate it. And our second award is for a new digital exhibition or collection this year. And the winner is the Sargent Gallery. For the new online collection site, for doing it the right way with open content and links punch and punching above their weight. And Paul Rowe will collect on behalf of the Sergeant. Now, so unfortunately the Sergeant Gallery couldn't be here today. They're, they're quite a small regional gallery, uh, but they've asked me to come up and accept this on behalf, their behalf. It's been our pleasure to work on the site. It's been really great to have an institution embracing, opening up access to their entire collection uh, they've let us experiment on their collection images and show you the results of that. And then they've worked with us to prototype the site that we've ended up releasing in the last few weeks. Uh, I'd also like to thank our web developer, Shinoi Sam, who worked on the project. Thank you very much. And our next award is the Digitization Award. I'm not sure it's a... Uh, any surprise in this one? The winner is the Nelson Provincial Museum for completing their seven year project to digitize their entire glass plate collection. And for a lot of hard work, they scaled some pretty big mountains. Thank you. This has been our project that has resulted in the digitization of almost 160,000 glass plate negatives. And it's a project that started back in the 1990s with a huge team of volunteers who did cataloging and then a team of about three people working in a dark room for seven years doing the digitization. So to um, all those glass plate negative digitizers, thank you very much. Um, and where to from here, we will see. Thank you, guys. The next award is the Innovative Use of Technology Award. And the winner is the Museum of New Zealand, Te Papa Tongarewa, for the Hinatore Flying Machines Manufata, an app that allows you to build and fly your own virtual kite. Uh, sorry, kite. For working. <laughs> uh, flying a virtual kite. I didn't have any lunch. Um, for working with Tonga, giving mana to kids, and collaborating with Iwi to create a virtual reality app that takes us to the skies. Is there anyone from Hinatori here? Ati. Oh, whoop. <laughs> oh, wow. Um, far out, first of all. Well, um, uh, Masa Hoyano, Mihi Ana Kia Tato Te Fari, Tukotau. Uh, me mihi hoki ki a rongo whakāta ki te iwi nā rātau tēnei uh, te whakāro nā rātau hoki te tautoko nei rei mihi ana ki a rātau. Wow, 
But I always thought if I was getting it all, it would be at the Grammys for Best Heavy Metal Album of the Year, but it ain't. It's for an app, and yeah, it's been really awesome. And I also want to acknowledge uh, the Immersive Space Program team who helped us develop the app, and also my team up in Hinaatore. Choice download, it's available iOS Store and Google Play Store. It's free. And the final award in this section before we go to the conference awards is an open category award um, where we like to recognise a member of the community just for the, for the great work that they've done. Um, and the winner is Alison Breeze uh, for her hard work on the Dunedin City Council Archives project using Flickr and Facebook and for fantastic content and for showing us that one person can make such a big difference. Alison's not here, but I believe she might be watching online as we speak. So, kia ora, Alison, congratulations. Um, to be honest, we'll probably drink your bottle of wine, but... We're going to send her a voucher. <laughs> Much better answer. Okay, the, the two conference awards. Um, yeah, this is, this is pretty exciting. And thanks for all the, the nominations. Um, we received a record number. Um, the Big Thought Award for the talk that made people think differently, presented a big idea, and opened people's minds. And the winner is Barbara Makuati Afitu, or Beyonce. <laughs> for her presentation on Pacific Perspectives, reconnecting Pacific communities with their collections. And to be honest, it was, it was, um, there wasn't even any competition really for this one. Barbara was an overwhelming number of nominations. Um, so, David. Um, Talofa, um, Barb's too um, humble to think that she was worthy of staying for the rest of the conference and needed to get back to Auckland to her people. So, um, this is definitely for her because she. Uh, spends a lot of time putting so much work into this project, but then is very shy about singing its praises. So this award is just fantastic, and I'll have great pleasure in taking it home to her. Thank you. And a final award, the Big Takeaway Award for the talk that inspired people uh, to try something new or different in their practical work. And the winner is Flora Felton and Ting Sun for everything you wanted to know about APIs and weren't afraid to ask. Thank you to my manager and put me on the spot. Um, and uh, National Library um, helping us to put our thoughts together and uh, share something, like just helping the whole Net National Library to learn and then expand it to the whole world, really, because everybody coming everywhere. And it's really daunting. I never experienced uh, coming up here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, now I'd like to pass over to Fiona for the, her closing comments. Um, and I'd just like to thank Fiona and um, the organising committee for another amazing conference. Um, if you just join with me in, in thanking them. You know what? I still can't really believe this is happening and that you're all here. It's been such a long year of planning, and now it's almost over, so I better start believing it some time. Um, it's an investment to come together, kanohi kite kanohi, and it's important because there is inherent wairoa, positive energy and value in talking and being and learning together in one place on this land. And kia ora, thank you all for being here. 
I'm a slow kind of reflective thinker. It takes me a while to work out what I really think about things and even longer to build the confidence to say them out loud. So talking last at a conference like this, after so many amazing speakers, it's pretty darn uncomfortable for me. And I feel really vulnerable standing up here in front of all of you. Last year, Matthew Oliver spoke at the end and what he said and what he showed has stuck with me all the way through. And when I knew that I was gonna be talking last, it was this image that I thought about. And this is an, a, a, a piece of art that I think about a lot when I feel uncomfortable and vulnerable. And so this is my one and only slide. And so what I've been doing, you know, slow reflective thinker, not really sure what I think, but there's all these amazing speakers that we've had today. So I'm channeling them and I've been picking bits and pieces from what I've heard to say what I'm about to say. So I'm uncomfortable, this is a place of discomfort. And as Pia said, it's, it's important to embrace discomfort. And Ariana and Claire and Honiana reinforced this with their powerful korero about venturing and being in a place of dis discomfort and finding new important pathways by working together. I'm reminded of another quote from Brene Brown's book on vulnerability, <clears throat> where she says, where there's discomfort, there's a need for leadership. There's a need to step up, to stand up, and do something that might take you forward. To move away from the simple, to see and accept that we're dealing with increasingly complex things, and focusing in on the needs, the needs gap, to work out what we, our sector, can do to actually meet the needs of New Zealanders and to ensure all people have the ability to thrive, to be, collaborate, to be a collaboration-ready workforce. Because complexity is our world now, possibly always has been, but it's definitely pretty complex and ambiguous, ambiguous at the moment. And we are here to help people, to connect people to their stories and their culture and their heritage and their taonga and help them be with it in a way that's right for them and right for their culture. To ensure that all, is, all, all of it is cared for in an appropriate way for those people so that it will always be there in a way that they need it forever. And that's really friggin' hard. And that's what we're doing and trying to do. As Andrea so beautifully illustrated yesterday, just one area of challenge is copyright and licensing in the public domain in a digital world. And we've made some really great strides in New Zealand, but there's an opportunity for all of us to be working together and working with others outside our bubble to do more, to accept we are all imperfect at the moment and that we can all hold hands, not look, not look back and keep hugging. <laughs> in our own way, preservation is a whole other complex area, same sort of approach. We need to be nodes in the wider network. We need to get better at looking for and authentically working with natural allies and work out what we can, be, what we can build on to make a bigger impact, to get better outcomes for New Zealanders. To embrace change, to enable trust, to use our skills in empathy and kindness and critical thinking and move into a space of true collaboration. Because if there's something that we're all, we, we're all, we all need to be doing, it's playing the infinite game. And you know, how can we all, um, to continually change, to keep our deepest values in play and ensure that everyone can benefit from what we do. And that means to be experimental and agile and to try small things and play around with time and do little things in quick time or take a long time and play the long game. Something we're not great at, I think probably in this conference we're, slight, we're, we're getting there a little bit better, something we're not great at in our glam bubble is admitting and sharing our failures. To take the criticisms on the chin, to share them and use them to motivate us to grow and learn and make things better. 
Andrea's supervisor said to her recently, all failure is good data for learning. Are we sharing this data enough? The data about our failures, what we've tried and hasn't worked? Because we can't truly learn from that data unless we have access to that information and we need to be beyond open with that. We need to try things and fail and succeed and learn and share and try and grow. And that's hard, but we need to be up for it. So, now is the time for us to create the future. We need to be in time with our communities that we're in and that we serve. And that means it's now is the time for us to work together better. Now is the time to be vulnerable to admit and share when things haven't worked so well, and when they have, we need to speak of how sweet the Coomera is, more and better. Now's the time to embrace the discomfort of this complex world and work out what we really need to take into the future and what we need to leave behind. And it's time now to prepare for that future. So I stand before you completely uncomfortable. Um, I've never written anything like this, um, and cl completely willing to embrace it w with all of you. And now it's time for me to thank some amazing people. My dream team. Oh, see, look, every time I get up here, I get all vulnerable. Um, my dream team, the committee, um, the conference committee, this team is amazing and they've worked so hard. So Adrian, I hate having to do sponsorship in the cell and things, and when there was a gap, Adrian stood up and picked it up and ran with it, and, and Adrian, thank you so, so much, and for your support and friendship. Sarah Powell picked up workshops, ran with them, and this was the biggest pre-conference workshop offering that we've ever offered at NDF, and it was an experiment to see how it would work. We're pretty sure it worked, and we'll be doing this again. Thank you, Sarah. Lucy Orbell um, ran with communications and helped get our story out there and got media interested and got the mayor here and did wonderful things um, to share the great mahi that we do. Thank you, Lucy. Dave Sanderson, our program leader, he did all of the hard work getting things in the right order and trying not to clash things and wrangling all of the speaker information and just did an amazing, amazing job. Thank you, Dave. Michael Parry helped Dave with the program and with the selection process and picked up other bits and bobs along the way that were gaps that just needed to be done. Um, and so thank you, Michael. And Corin, when Corin came onto the committee, I thought, mm, I know what I can get him to do. He can organise the newbies breakfast and the social, the speakers dinner that we have before the conference starts, and he did an excellent job. I know how to choose the good ones for the right thing. Amy Joseph, thank you, Amy. She, um, she organised all of the scholarships um, and working with Internet New Zealand and others to make sure to it was quite a process to get that all sorted. And she also picked up a bunch of other things like the post-conference survey that you're all going to get and you're all going to uh, uh, send feedback in so that we can learn about our failures and our successes and build on them. Thank you, Amy. Then there's our conference organisers, um, uh, Nikki, Raina, Hayley, Penny, the whole party Cooper team. They're our solar energy. They help us be sustainable and, and make things happen. They're, they're sweating the small stuff while we're all doing our day jobs and then trying to do this on top of the day jobs. Oh, which brings me to the, the committee. I want to thank the organisations that they work for because those organisations are supporting them to do this work and that's an investment and we really appreciate that. To everyone that presented, um, it's hard work putting a presentation together and you shared your learnings and your failures, failures and your successes and we learn from you and we're going to keep going back to the videos and keep learning from your mahi and the work that you did. So thank you to our amazing keynotes who travelled far and wide, Kia, Andrea, Hakenwall, Claire, Honiana, Ariana, Pia, you were everything I wished for and more. To our sponsors, I thank them a lot. They're so important. I bow before you sponsors. We need you and we appreciate it. To the NDF board, thank you for your support and guidance. 
let's embrace this discomfort together and make that bigger impact for everyone here together as a board um, and for all New Zealanders, we've got a challenge and I reckon we're up for it. Ariana said something really beautiful today and I hope she's okay with me picking it up and using it again. Um, I think it was at the end of the talk she said, me ata haere tatu iraro e te nako mahaki. Go carefully in the spirit of humility and respect. And that's what I wish for all of you. And that's it. That's the end. It's time to go home. It's time for me to go home to my wonderful husband who has held the thought, thought over the last few days. I've used up all my brownie points. <laughs> Um, and I need to go home to my babies and see them and look after them. And um, yeah, um, so it's time for us to go and go home and think about what we've done. Look out for the videos that are coming. Please answer the survey that is coming. We want to learn from you. Um, it's traditional at the end of NDF that if you're hanging around or you've got some time afterwards, head over to the Max Brew Bar. I think I'm pointing in the right direction um, and have have a beer or a whatever, an orange juice um, together and reflect on the time we've had today. Ka kite ano. Thank you.